Yeah, definitely things evolve. Um, there have definitely become certain fashion trends at Burning Man, but I continually see new innovative things happening there. There's something about the collective creative experience there that really encourages people to push beyond. And But one of the very interesting things to me is the way that people will combine technology and new materials in ways that haven't been done before. So, you know, you get a little bit of um, copycat culture going on with customs, but you also get a lot of innovation. So. Some of my favorite costumes are made from ordinary materials used in new ways. Lucky Lisa glued the ends of fluorescent green cable ties to a coconut shell bra to create this sea anemone-like costume that's eye-catching and humorous. Nothing quite says stay away like those green cable ties. <laughs> Martini Man created this dazzling coat and hat made entirely from CDs. And how can you not laugh when you see these two pooch balls? Tom Corbeline and his friend wear these humorous and irresistible costumes made from foam tubes to look like a structure made entirely out of panties. One of Josie's favorite costumes is um, her panty hoop skirt. It's a four-tiered construction made from plastic tubing and panties, of course. It was designed as a themed costume for the 2001 theme, The Seven Ages of Man. Josie's hoop skirt has four ages, progressing from children's panties to teen bikinis to women's briefs to high-rise granny panties. She even made bloomers from piece together panties that she wears underneath. We've already seen some photos of mutant vehicles, but some of these vehicles blur the boundary between art, car, and costume, like the bunny slippers by Lisa Pongrace and Greg Solberg. A pair of specially built electric scooters, seven and a half feet long, are covered in cotton candy pink fur rugs and really look like giant bunny slippers. The design of the slippers was inspired by a pair of real bunny slippers that Lisa made for herself from a pair of ordinary slippers. She made giant yarn pom-poms for the noses and giant button eyes from Tupperware lids that she spray painted black. <laughs> Ironically, Lisa says it's hard to get anywhere when she's driving a bunny slipper because she can't get more than 10 feet without being stopped by someone. People instantly love them. They will actually run up and hug the bunnies, but not the driver. Lisa and Greg just couldn't stop at their adorable bunny slippers. They had to go on to create these almost good enough to eat muffin and cupcake vehicles. This is Lisa in her blueberry muffin. And here's the whole gang. I'm sure you'll recognize some favorites from your childhood. Maybe the hostess cupcake in the foreground. At night, the whole atmosphere of Burning Man is transformed with neon LED lights and lasers. 